Hello, I'm David Murphy, and this is Load Alone and my accessory to the Link, Link accessory. I'm gonna go over why my parts are most innovative and the best in the market, and it's the best buy. When you buy a Load Alone, it's a lifting assistance device because of the winching device, which I have patented. And basically any winch in a personal vehicle that takes at least one turn is covered under my patent. I worked hard on it for three and a half years and I received it this summer. It was approved, we worked. So um, let's get started. This is a resurfaced link, so I have everything right here. Um, they use aluminum, which corrodes and looks like crap right off the back and uh, gets powdery, it holds bacteria, doesn't clean back up. I use all stainless steel with a brush finish and it cleans right back up new with the sanding sponge. For years, it will look like new. Just takes a couple minutes. And I, you don't have to lift my stuff up. Here's like the cups that you would have to lift to put it in the cup. And it, when you reach your arm fully out, the NIOSH calculation of lifting, it's like five pounds is all you're allowed to lift before it does damage to your back. So, but any any unit out there, an employer buys that has a cock cup that you have to lift the back of the stretcher to put in is in violation of the OSHA li limits. Um, they don't really enforce anything, but uh, employees can sue uh, for their injuries and uh, uh, total cost of a lifting injury right now is 42,000 as of 2019. Now, when the, the winching system pulls the cot in, it might hit, and if it ever catches anything, just give it a little shake around all the corners, and it will drop right in the cup. And then to pull it out, just keep a roller around or something. I use my cane. You put it behind the handle here, way back here, so it's not as far out, and you can just pop it out of the cup, and it's, it fits right down that side of your load alone. Um, they also have gone to be really cheap. Uh, materials are going up. Their answer is a plastic ramp. And I took a year getting my, my, my uh, ramp system correctly in the hinging system. My ramps don't make any noise. It goes up, stays up, sits up against your car, and doesn't bang around. Link has this thing on the side and it goes out, it sits out in front of a, you can't fit three or two st stretchers. We have the full 48 inches on our load alone, so you can fit a 28 inch cot and a 20 inch cot, that equals 48. My cups go right up to the side, right where your bar, right where your stabilizing bar goes to drop in. In the load link, you can see the edge of their aluminum, their cup starts way over here. So you've lost all that room. So you can't fit two 24 inch cots together and drop into the cot cups. I have a longer set, um, oval cot cup so you can fit both legs in if you want. And it will fit, you know, two 24s or a 28 and a 20 will come in here. And this is a link, they use a couple rollers. I'll give you all the rollers you want um, I'm making one today with uh, six rollers. I use a chrome edge on mine, um, but I advise you only use two or one roller on each side. With one roller, the friction of the front of the box on the surface is gonna keep it from banging back and forth. If it's on two rollers or more, it's gonna go bang, 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 bang if you don't have it squeezed down tight with the casket, adjustable casket plate. See, I use, I, all we need with ours is these stainless steel pens. Even my plates are lower, so there's less catching and rounded edges. And they just polish up brand new, like I'm saying. These are skid bars. We uh, will provide these if you want. I, I custom make them to each customer. Some people just move cots, and then some people, I, it will fit a casket a shipping tray which is 88 inches and put in this hole right here on my, my deck. And a cardboard cremation case that's just 76 inches goes right up to the front hole of ours. Um, my surface is for mica, it's like a countertop. You can cut carrots on this and not leave a mark. But we're putting hundreds of pounds. I don't even have cups on my stabilizing legs in my cot and mine looks brand new after three years. 
I've replaced mine. I've got them out there. They've been four years old doing 300 calls a month and they clean back up looking new still and are all working. Um, so I like the white for mica because the scratches are white, the marble. It hides everything. We also have a beautiful black one and it really doesn't scratch up that bad. So if you like the black, it, black is beautiful. All right, so let's move on. Let's hit their ramp first here. Here's their new plastic ramps. And this one was brand new. Look at, look at the wear on it. This guy was only in business for over a year when I replaced his. People are taking their links and put to uh, recycling them. And this one, first large body he had, cracked it, he broke it. So they replaced it. They have a year warranty. I've offered to work with them and help make their product better. They don't want anything. They can listen to this video here and find out all the problems with their product. But they're just making it cheaper, not better. We have all stainless steel parts. There's no rusting underneath. Um, and it's going to last forever. Not forever. I give you a year warranty, but I've stood behind everyone. They're all working after four years. All right, so we've gone over these things. Okay, everybody asks about unloading. All right, when you pull the cod in, it pulls it in, and all you gotta do is pinch the handles at the right times. If you have a one-handle cot, you just bend the ramp with the front legs. When you squeeze the handle, the back will drop down one click for the step cot, but the front legs will completely disengage. You go back to pressing the button, it keeps pulling it in, the back legs lift off the ground, then you squeeze the handle and just hold the handle in and follow it in so it doesn't like raise up. I use an old cot that all you got to do is break down the legs and they stay broke down. But it works with all cots. We don't find anything that has have any problems at all. Um, behind me here, we give, this is a tow board for the cardboard cremation cases. It's maple, it's finished, it's waterproof. It's all routered. It's a lot of work into them. So if you can make your own using the dimensions off of this, if you want to have a few around the funeral home, I give you extra straps and straps. This is the top side. The bottom side, the straps come up over the front for the hook and it will slide up the ramp into the front. And then when you get it in, you just pull this piece out and you can pull your cremation case. It'll slide right off of it and put that back in. There's holes down there. Okay. Now everybody asks about unloading. You can rig this up on the end of the winch. We'll go over the, the clutch. You just turn it and you can free spool it and you just... Put your line in the block, it opens up like that. Put your line in, put your clip in, clip it to your D-ring. And it's either Virginia or DC, there's a law someone told me about, so we put D-rings on all. And this strap here, you can put it around the handle of the cot and it won't tip over around a fast turn or like in New Jersey with their roundabouts. The, they, if they, if you did tip over, and you didn't put this on, all you have to do is pull your cot out onto the ground, get the person back up on the center, strap them in tighter, load it right off the ground. I've done 535 pound body right off the ground, back into the car and pull it out and make sure your legs are locked correctly. I like leaving it up and just feathering out the line as I pull it out. It slides on the ceramica like it's on ball bearings. So I can pull a 500 pound person out with one hand holding onto the car because you know, I'm. A walking paraplegic, I got shaky legs, so it's I have to hold on to something all the time. Now, if you wanted to unload, say I got a 700, 800 pound body in here, or even in a shipping case or something, it's hard to pull out. You just put the line through the block and you run it back up to the front of the cot. And then when you push your button, in button will pull it out. I would pull it out halfway. And I would take a second, unhook this, take your line out, push the in button, reel the line back in so it's at the front of the cot. So when you pull it out, it's under control. It can't roll off the bumper and collapse on you. You have complete control. You can pull it out so your back legs are there. And if they're not in the highest position, like if you're in a low minivan, you can take the time to just stop, put your foot in front of the leg, lift it up and push the leg out to the highest position, then go back to pulling the cot out and release it pressing the button, letting out the line. All right, this racing stripe's not by link. I put that on for them because it makes it look better. There's a bunch of holes. Like you can see them on the other side. 
What I have is a slotted bar, so you, it will attach any vehicle and you can strap it down in main. It has to be attached to the vehicle. So we've got ratchet straps and on the, my load alone over there, I'll show you, it's got a, an eye over here and you can hook it in anywhere on the bar. And I'll show you how it hooks into the vehicles when I get over to that one. This is load a link alone. All it does is it attaches right through their bumpers. See that my bumpers, I raise these up here because I got the half inch for Micah here. But these holes here, I give you the stainless steel bolts and a new set of bumpers. You just take theirs off with their rusty bolt. You put mine in, screw it in. All you need is this inch here. And now you have a load of link alone. And I advise you get two winches, one on each side. So you have two operating. So you never have to let the line out and switch it from one to the other. It's a new product. So most people are just been buying it with one. But here's, there's an example. There's a bar with two winches on it. And if you have, if you're using like a transit, a longer vehicle, I can just put the winches up a little farther and you don't even need to use the block. You never need to use the block. It will work right around the pin. But see the block lines it up so the line goes straight and into the winch. And you just move the block from each pin down either side or down the middle. And it'll pull two cots in equally on each side. And you can fit two cremation cases, 24 inch wood boxes. And I put this here. If there's a bunch of rollers, I can give you this pad here because if you put your cot in it will put uh, the wheels will go on this and give you just a little more friction in the front but if you have the two winch system or if you just have one cot with it and it's held up here it's pulled in so tight once you drop that leg in the cot cup and then you give it a little more to pull it down tight it is very secure it's the scariest thing in the business now right here is the clutch you turn it boom it's free spooled you can pull out your line without wasting any battery and, or time and then you just turn it back and it is back locked. All right, and all the electronics now, it's all in the box, it looks beautiful. Those are the straps that go on your cot. There's a little video that I send you as soon as you buy it. So you know how to put your straps on quick and easy. All right, here's the battery. All right, and charger comes with it. On a minivan, see in the Suburban, I put my battery right behind my seat and it's secure. If it's an accident, it's not gonna get out free. But we have a longer cord here and the battery locks right in through the straps to it to connect it. It's state law, I'm sure, in every state that you if you have a battery in the back of the vehicle, it's gotta be, it doesn't get free. I'm gonna show you some of my stuff here. Here's a whole bunch of different plates. I got different thickness. Uh, cot plates and this right here is a d-ring to hold put these straps on this strap can go on that's my own little innovation there again rounded front so it doesn't catch cot cups here's the other ones see these these ones that are chrome once they get scratched up you can't like fix chrome again whereas mine just clean up to new again with the sanding sponge and again you have to lift up to put that in the cot cup see on that other one I made I ground down just to innovate it and made it better so look how I did this one just to show I make everything better that I touch so it goes in shorter drops in and that's all you need and then it's got a nice one in the front so if it's got an accent it's gonna hold it in but it's easier to get it back out but we don't even use this anymore unless you ask for it I saw it to little smurfs running around with removal companies making their own. I started with plywood. Uh, yeah, I became paraplegic and I made my first winching system. So I didn't have to pay friends to help me. And it worked so good. I've dropped everything and invested everything I've had into bringing the best product to you. So I appreciate your, right now, if you're buying direct from me, you're getting 30% off. That's the sales commission. Once uh, other people are selling for me, uh, the contracts I'm looking at say that I can't undercut the other sales forces, but I wasn't going to sign one with the biggest fluid companies unless um, anybody who buys from me direct now will always be able to buy directly from me because I appreciate your business and helping me get started, which we're doing great now. So stainless steel ramps on the Suburban, 
they're just a little longer so they can reach down farther to load your cremations right off the church trucks and it's all the same stuff let's go up okay i'll show you how it locks into the car now in minivans the town and country and, and uh, the caravan where the seats come out there's a little metal bar right there you put this on here you put this on your side you just put put your your bolt through this smaller holes so it will stay there's you can switch the bolts around and use the bigger head if you needed to go through one of these top ones but you just you know you tighten you change the bolts lengths you tighten it in um, the two-piece unit from the cars can have a winch on each side so it will fit in through the back gate the two-piece unit I can pop it out, take the bar out. There's just a nipple. You can see that one. It's not a two piece, but it's that bar. Then it just pulls out. You tip it up on its side, pop it out. I can pull it right out and I can put the car, the seat up and put my grandkids car seat up in New York state. They got to sit in the back seat until they're 80 pounds. Just takes me a minute to do that. And I'm not in that great a physical shape. You can do it even quicker. So with just one side in, I've done 350 pound bodies and had no problem pulling them straight in. With the Suburban or, you know, uh, any of the Cadillac SUVs or the third row seating, this goes right about here up against the headrest of the third row seating. So it's got something to pull against. And then there's an eye way down there. So you can hook up a ratchet strap if you want to strap it into your car. So it, even if you're in an accident with all the weight on it, it can't push up against your seat. Um, we think about everything. This is all I think about or do for the past four years. We've really perfected it. It's a great product. And like I say, you get a 50% tax credit because it's a lifting assistance device. So it qualifies for the ADA tax credit. I'm not a accountant, so I can't promise it to you, but... I hand you all the, I give you an information sheet and the IRS form to hand off to your accountant and see it, it removes the barrier of inaccessibility for a disabled person to do the job of loading the vehicle for transport and I'm disabled and it works. So it qualifies by definition and we're going to have, hopefully have grants. So most, this should not even have to be paid for. You should be getting this for free eventually because 80, there, we have an 80% lifting injury rate in the funeral business, and 75% of those injuries go into retirement and are, end up being paid for by Medicare. All the hips and shoulders replaced and hernias. And one of another, there's a percentage of how many people lose the ends of their fingers on their cot, so be very careful. Um, this right here, this is a different setup. This is going into a tra uh, Chevy Traverse. It doesn't have as much room. It's going to fit in there perfect to the side door, but I can't use my normal five inch box. I only have four inches. So the, uh, this is for the remote control. Here's my patent number, phone number. Give me a call. We get them out to you as fast as we can. Call me for any questions, videos. We have professional ones coming. I'd hate to tell you all the problems I've been having, but my first priority is when I have a sale is the customer until he has it because he might have a 500 pound, 800 pound body coming down the line. I can't get it to you guys fast enough. So thank you very much. Give me a call. Load alone.